wife told me don't go hallelujah on y'all today. Nah, let me stop. All right, check it out again. We're going to do a turkey brine today. And uh, I'm going to throw a bunch of stuff in there from out of your normal kitchen. I would assume you have if you're a normal cooker. If you just uh, uh, live day to day, you're going to have none of this in there. But we're going to go in this kitchen and we're going to cook things up. We're going to stir it up. So you how to uh, put it on the stove, boil it up, come to temperature, let it chill, put your turkey in there, let it sit in the refrigerator for between 18 and 24 hours, no more than 24 hours, and then you're good for your turkey brine. Then you can season it with whatever and put it on the grill. We'll be back. Let's follow it to the kitchen. All right, YouTube. We back in the kitchen. And let me go over the little little products that we use for this brine for this turkey. All right. So, I don't have two gallons of water shown right here. But if you can't figure out how to measure two gallons of water, then you might want to eh, get your ass some help. <laughs> anyway, you're going to need two gallons of water. You're going to need, uh, say, you can use apple juice. Get some old great value right here. Or you can use apple cider, you know, three cups of that. You're going to need uh, some kosher salt, three-fourths a cup of this stuff. You're going to need three tablespoons of uh, peppercorn. Yeah, we're going to use about three tablespoons of this. Um, what we got here? Some bay leaves. We're going to use about five whole bay leaves in here. You don't want too much. Uh, we're going to use five cloves of garlic, mint, so I'm going to chop that up. Use my own recipe, garlic, right? Got three three oranges. You like oranges? Yes, sir, oranges. Right? We're gonna cut them into large strips and throw them jokers off in them. Squeeze the juice off in there. And I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with it in a minute. Got some rosemary right here. We're gonna use about four sprigs of that, as you can see. Um, or you can get the fresh. This might be fresh. Hell, I don't damn know. Anyway. Um, and we got some brown sugar. I'm gonna throw off in there about two cups of this. Yep, I go to Costco, save a couple of dollars, I, I guess. But anyway, all right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take all this stuff and we're gonna put it in the water, right? We're gonna bring the water, you're gonna take a pot of water, a uh, big pot of water, and uh, bring it to a boil. And you're gonna put this stuff in there. Actually, I put it in before just so it can sit in there. You want to, because what you want to do is make sure the sugar you know dissolve and it's good to go once that is done and, and you got everything all, all these ingredients right here and then it's good and dissolved then you're gonna turn it off and then you're gonna let it come down to room temperature right then because you don't want to put it in there hot because you put a turkey you put your turkey in there don't put a frozen turkey in there but if you put a turkey in there and in hot water guess what it's gonna start to do start to cook you don't want to introduce no bacteria or whatnot because you're gonna be like be saying, Mr. B told me to put this in a hot, hot water. No, no, I ain't tell you that damn shit. But anyway, um, yeah, go for what you know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mix these ingredients up and put this thing on, and I'm gonna show you uh the pot boiling so you can see how it look. Be back in a minute. All right, ladies and gents, as you can see, uh, I got my pot uh simmering. It's uh trying to get up the temp. Um, yeah, you can see little bits of onion, um, maybe a little bay leaf or whatever time or whatever. Uh, definitely see them oranges in there simmering and getting all them juices together because that's what the turkey's going to soak in. So, uh, I'll be back here shortly. Like I said, when this, uh, actually not shortly, I'm going to let this finish up, come to a boil. Uh, then I'm going to take it, put it in the refrigerator so it can cool down quick. A lot of people throw ice in there for that. Eh. I ain't in no press for no time, so I ain't going to do that. But you can do that too, ladies, fellas. You can put ice in there to bring it down to uh, room temperature. Or put it, make it cool. Because it's going to turn cold anyway, so it ain't going to matter. And throw it in your bucket or whatever, your five-gallon bucket or whatever it is you use. I got a big container. I'll show you here in a minute. And then uh, let it simmer. And then uh, once it's done, man, throw some ice in there. Keep it cool. Well, I don't really have to do that because I'm putting mine in the refrigerator. Um, I want to use this same pot, but I think my turkey is a little bit big. This is 11 pounds I'm putting in here today. So I'm going to use my other pot. And I probably have to add some water. So that's 
and water is authorized. Trust me, you want to fill up the turkey, um, or fill the line up so the uh, the turkey is pretty much uh, covered with water. And this goodness right here, as you see. So we'll be back in a minute. Like I said, when I put the turkey in there, I'm going to show you my way of doing it. A lot of people um, fill their bucket up and then put the turkey in it, which you can do if you got a five gallon, so I don't. So I always like to put my turkey in first and then pour the goodness on top of it. That way I don't spill anything on the floor or the counter or whatnot. But anyway, you can do it either way. Uh, we'll be here. We'll be back in a minute. Uh, I'll let your boy, Mr. B. Alright, YouTube. Just want to show you this real quick. Got the goodness bubbling. Alright, and turn the stove off. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Well, actually, in a little while. Once it cools down. Hello. Alright, YouTube. We back. Um, I got a portion of my liquid, as you can see right here, poured in. I think that's enough. I'm going to put my turkey in here. And uh, that surprise thing. My knee bones connected to my thigh bone. My thigh bones connected to my neck bone. Anyway, throw my little neck bone in there real quick. And then uh, put this lemon pound. I mean, a turkey neck. Man, leave me alone. My damn recorder fucking with me. Anyway, you know what it is. If you don't know what it is, you ain't supposed to be cooking it. And that's kind of like me right now. Anyway, see this turkey? These breasts, 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 breasts. You put them all uh, down, face down in there, all right? Because that is the biggest piece of meat on here. You want to make sure it's cooked thoroughly. So I would definitely want to make sure it's uh, uh, swollen, like full of the protein. The protein is going to suck it all up in there if you happen to kill. But anyway, this is how you keep your, your uh, turkey moist. This is why you brine. Right, so future reference when you're brining and you're smoking something, this is how you keep it moist when you got it on the grill. Or uh, you can inject people cheat like that and inject. And uh, this time I'm not gonna do that, but anyway, just showing y'all how to brine a turkey. You got any questions? Hit me up, questions, comments. A lot of y'all been emailing me, I appreciate that. I'll respond back to you pronto, right? If I ain't working, and then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, questions, tips, anything like that, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Holla at your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. How to brown a turkey.